Today we're gonna to tell you about spraying milk paint. You cannot use a traditional sprayer with milk paint because it will get clogged. We use the Critter Sprayer. We just purchased it on Amazon and it seems to work pretty well. So let's take a pause for a minute. The purple gun in my right hand on your left side is an HVLP sprayer. We don't like to use milk paint with that because it can gum up. It's got a lot of metal moving parts and brass inside and the milk paint sticks to that really, really well. This Critter Sprayer is really easy to clean. That's the number one reason why we use it with milk paint. You don't have to worry about spraying it perfectly because it dries flat and matte, so you're not gonna see any strokes or going odd directions on it. It's gonna give you really great coverage. Here we're using Sweet Pickens Sweetie Jane, which is one of our absolute favorite colors. This milk paint is mixed up one to one. If it's a little hot in your area, you can add a little more water so it doesn't dry as fast. It sprays well through the siphon in a one to one mixture. Now just a little sanding on the top. I started out with 80 grit. The finish was on there pretty well, but you can see quite a few gouges and dings. And then once I got the bulk of the finish off, I started sanding with a 220 grit to finish it off and smooth out any squiggles that the orbital sander may have done. Next we're ready for staining. If you just water down 10 to one a brown milk paint, you can make a faux stain. Here we're using DIY's White Swan and wiping it back to give it a aged barnwood look. To buy the paint products used today, visit jamierayvintage.com. I went back over the top with some more faux milk paint stain and we're ready to get some distressing. Just removing any paint that's loose and then we're ready for, oh my gosh, my hair. We're ready for some oil wax to deepen up and rich in the color and seal the milk paint. This oil wax is great because it works almost like a stain on the top too. It's just gonna darken that as well. And then once we wipe this back, it'll be sealed and very durable. It hardens like a resin. We're just wiping it back with lint-free rags and then it'll cure up and be all sealed. 